I have a song on the album, it's called I Am, and it is referring to God. The song came about um, after a 12-year legal battle that I was in, um, where I was in a, a car accident, and after 12 years, um, basically the judge ruled for the opposing party, um, even though it wasn't my fault. Uh, and after that, I really struggled, uh, struggled with who God was, um, what did His justice mean, what did it look like? Um, and I remember one day, a song started coming to my head. And when I first heard it, I literally thought it must be a song that I'd heard before. What it ended up being um, was God actually speaking, um, maybe singing even uh, His message to me uh, for comfort and for truth in the midst of the trial. The song came to me, lyrics and music together. That's why I thought that, you know, first off, that it was a song that I'd heard before and I actually Googled it because I thought, I must have heard this before. This is so weird. I never had this experience. Well, over the next, I think it was the next two weeks, literally, without me trying, God gave me like another verse and another chorus and then a bridge and all of these things. And we went to, um, Mike Moran and Nate Weaver's house, their roommates, and um, we just recorded a real scratch demo in their living room. And uh, the weirdest thing was it was about, I don't know, a few weeks after Rut had sent out um, an email to all the people on the arts team about song submissions for the CD, um, K2 CD that was going to be released. And that was, I think, like a year and a half ago or something like that. I hope that the congregation of K2, that all of us um, are encouraged more than anything um, and, and are reminded that faith is active. Um, we can actively put our trust in God because He is good despite what we feel at times, um, despite knowing if He's good, despite knowing if He's just, He is all those things, um, the I am that doesn't change. And so my hope and prayer for this song is that you guys can be reminded too.